let us talk about this problem we are given two sorted arrays we need to print union of these two sorted arrays our output should also be sorted every element should be printed in the sorted order now what do we mean by union we need to print every element which is present in both the arrays all the elements of array 1 and all the elements of array 2 and we need to print every element exactly once for example here 2 is the smallest element then we print 2 3 next is smallest 5 8 8 is there in both of the arrays but we printed once 9 10 15 we we print these these elements also. Let's see this example. Two, then three, three times, then four, two times, and then four, two times then then times times, and and here. So two, three, four, right? These are the three distinct elements present in both the arrays. So our output is two, three, four. Now please pause this video. Try to write down a function that takes two arrays as input A and B and prints union of both the arrays. Let's first talk about a naive solution to solve the problem. The time complexity of this naive solution is going to be m plus n into log of m plus n. M is the size of first array and n is the size of second array. And you might have guessed it. We are going to use sorting here. So what we do first, we create an array C. So this is C plus plus syntax. In Java, you can create an array of size m plus n this way. Also, if you're programming in Java, you don't need to pass the lengths as separate parameters. You can get m as a dot length and n as b dot length. After creating the array, we copy the elements of array A into array C. After copying the elements of array A, we copy the elements of array B starting from index M, right? I goes from 0 to n minus 1, so we begin with index M. So we basically first copy the first three elements, M is 3 here for array A into C. Then we copy the four elements of array uh, B into C. So our C has all the elements of array A, then all the elements of array B. After doing uh, this copying, we sort the array C. After you sort the array C, what happens? Your C array becomes 5, 10, 20, all the same elements, they come together, right? See, we want to print the union and that too in the sorted form, right? So, and we don't want to print any duplicates. So we got the sorted form, we got all the elements, we now just need to remove the duplicates while printing. Now we simply traverse the array C and while traversing, we see if the current element i is not same as previous element, then only we print the current element. See, uh, for sorting, this is C++ syntax. This is how we sort in Java. And for printing, we'll use system.out.print in Java. So that's the simple idea. Uh, that's what we are going to get as an output. We have the time complexity this much because of the sort step. This is theta m, this is theta n, this is theta m plus n, but this is m plus n into log m plus n. Also, the solution requires a theta of m plus n auxiliary space. Now, please pause this video and try to think of a solution that works in theta m plus n time. Let us now talk about the idea for efficient solution. What we are going to do is we are going to follow the process similar to merge function of mass sort. We are going to traverse both the arrays simultaneously, array A using index i and array B index using index j. And what are we going to do? Like Marsort, we are going to compare A, I and B, J. For example, if I begin from index 0, 0 in both, and if this is smaller, see, we need to print the union in sorted order. Then what you will do? You will simply print A, I and you will move ahead in array A. So if A, I is smaller, then what are we going to do? We are going to print A, I, right? And we are going to move ahead in this a array we are going to do i plus plus right and if uh, so that's that's how we'll handle 2 and 3 we'll print 2 on the screen then we'll move ahead now we'll compare 10 and 3 so now bj is smaller right i is here and j is here and when this is smaller we are going to print bj and we are going to move ahead in array b so we are going to print uh, bj print bj and move ahead in array b right j plus plus that's uh, what we do when they are uh, this way so we'll print two first then we'll print three first now we have i here and j here now i is smaller so we'll print 10 and move ahead here now we have i here and j here 20 20 they are same so what should we do in this case see when they are same we are going to print uh, one of those two elements right any of those two elements and move ahead in both the arrays so we are going to print AI or BJ. You can print anything. They're same. So print AI and move ahead in both. 
i plus plus j plus plus so what will happen now we'll print 20 right because we have printed a i and we'll move ahead in both the arrays so we will come uh, come to 20 and 40 see now we need to ensure that 20 is not printed again right for that purpose we need to add some extra conditions the conditions that we are going to add is if a i is equal to a i minus 1 then we need to simply move ahead and continue right because we have processed the same element already right so we do i plus plus and we continue and same thing we need to do for uh, bj right if bj is equal to bj minus 1 then also we are going to do the same thing right j plus plus and continue also we need to add a condition that we should check for this only when i is greater than 0 if i is 0 we should not be accessing minus 1 here also we need to add a condition j is greater than 0 so this is how we are going to write the logic right so this 20 will not be processed it will be falling into this condition and it will be ignored right so we reach the end of this array now what are we going to do see uh, once we reach end of any of the arrays we need to process the remaining elements of the other array same thing we do in the merge function of the merge sort right when we finish processing one array we process the remaining elements of the other array so now we are going to come to this array and we are going to process 40 and we are going to print 40 on the screen. So now you have complete idea about the solution. Please pause this video and try to write down the complete code yourself. Here is implementation of the idea that we have just discussed. If you take a closer look at this implementation, this is very similar to merge function of merge sort. We have initialized i as 0, j as 0, then we have loop i smaller than m, j smaller than n and these three conditions are also very similar to merge function. If ai is smaller, then we process ai and we do move ahead in the a, a array. If bj is smaller, we process bj and move ahead in J, b array. If they are same, then we uh, print ai here and we move ahead i++ plus plus and j++. Plus plus. We are only printing ai because we don't want to print duplicates as per the question requirements. And these two conditions extra that we have added, they are also for handling duplicates. If there is exists a previous element and if the current element is same as the previous element then we simply ignore this element continue means simply ignore it and move ahead and same is the case for array b right if the same is if it, the current element is same as the previous ignore it after we come out of the loop we have two more while loops like we have in merge function or merge sort right if there are elements left in the first array then process them if there are elements left in the second array process them and again before processing them we need to ensure for every element that this is not same as the previous element right so let's do a dry run of this for this example we have array as this b as this i as 0 j uh, also as 0 in the first iteration right what will happen uh, these two elements will be compared right we will not uh, ins go inside here because a i is 0 and j is also 0 so we will print 2 on the screen and then we will make i equal to 1 so now we are here and here now we will compare uh, these two and we will print 3 on the screen and we are here and here now we will print 10 on the screen right and we will move ahead in this now we are here and here now 20 20 same so we will come here and we will print 20 on the screen and we will move ahead in both the arrays right now uh, we will compare for, uh, now when we uh, move ahead in both the arrays we will not be comparing because now we will fall here this 20 is same as the previous 20 so we are going to simply ignore it and move ahead in this array that's why uh, i have simply written i equal to 4 now now once your i becomes 4 and you check for these conditions this condition becomes false because m here is 4 and i becomes equal to m so we will come out of this loop after we will come out of this loop we will check if i if i is smaller than m do we have elements left in first array no now do we have elements left in the second array yes because last time j was 2 and we have size is 3 right so we will go inside this loop and we will do an iteration and we will print 40 in the screen and uh, before printing 40 we need to ensure that 40 uh, is not same as the previous element so we have added this condition both the while loops and it's always true that both of the while loops will never execute you will either have extra elements in first array or in the second array now what is the time complexity of the solution 
see either we do increment of i or we do increment of j and sometimes we do increment of both i and j and uh, i ranges from 0 to m minus 1 j ranges from 0 to n minus 1 so the time complexity is clearly upper bounded by m plus n and extra elements also are to be processed that also come under m plus n because together uh, the total number of elements are m plus n only so the time taken is clearly big o of m plus n and auxiliary space is you can guess it's big o of 1 right because we are simply printing the elements we are not uh, storing anything so auxiliary space is big o of 1 so we have much better solution using march function